Good morning everyone, it's uh, Sid from Partridge Exterior Cleaning and what's this? Could it possibly be uh, a nice day for once? Um, it sure is, it's nice and warm today. I'm not sure of the degrees but it feels at least 10 which is, uh, which is good to me to be honest. Um, another roof clean um, today, uh, this one above me. Some, uh, some nice palm trees in this garden, it's lovely. Um, customers moving in in a few weeks so she just wants the roof all sorted out and the conservatory roof as well. Access on the front is um, pretty much okay to be honest, it's just grass so I can get to everything there. Um, that roof there also needs to be done. I'll turn you around and show you the back. All right, I'm hiding in a little cubby hole here to show you this roof. Um, it's kind of awkward access on this but I think I will uh, climb up on this thing to reach that and then um, the rest of it I can pop the tower down here and sort of reach it from over there. Um, this conservatory roof also needs to be cleaned. Right then, the uh, blade for this job is, what is that? I can't even see it. Uh, Marley Ludlow Plus. Um, I need to get one of these in the XL, to be honest with you, because um, they are quite small as they are, but good enough for the job. Um, today is Saturday the 10th of, I don't even know what day it is, what date it is. We're, what are we in April? Saturday the 10th of April. Um, yeah, excuse the uh, exhaustion. Um, yeah, my kids kept me up all night last night, pretty much. So running on no sleep on a Saturday, it's uh, yeah, it's not not going to be a fun day. But I'll uh, I'll do my best. I probably won't finish this job today because I've got the conservatory roof to do as well. But um, yeah, I will try my best. And if anyone wonders why I keep all my blades in, uh, my roof scraper stuff, it all just goes in there. Um, I haven't really found a better way to store it. I don't like carrying it in like a, a box like that because um, you know you drop it down on the floor and it's so heavy it just breaks it. All right, you know when you just you can just tell already that it's not going to be your day. I'm having no sleep. All right, you, bear in mind, everyone, I'm not the type of person to complain. Okay, I don't like complaining unnecessarily. But Christ alive, that was the most difficult thing I've ever had to set up in my life. That was harder than my first ever one. It's completely covered in cement and paint and silicon. Even in the tubes, I don't know how whoever used it last has managed it to get like silicon inside the actual bars. Like Jesus, do people not care about things like this? Sorry, it's a bit of a run. It's happened a few times now when it's turned up and the tower's been just covered in crap and you just it just adds extra time onto your job. I mean, I know, yeah, just buy your own bloody one, but um, yeah, absolute bloody nightmare. I'll try and show you up close what I mean. I hope you can see that. That was literally cement, like stuck to everything and it was in the bars. I was trying to uh, fit it all together. I'm like, oh, doing my head in. Right, anyway, I'm up. I could only get it there. The um, the ground's too soft, like on the, the dirt patches. Um, so it's had to go on the grass. So I'm a bit far out, but um, I should be able to reach everything. But yeah, what well, time is it now? I started late anyway, because I had no sleep. So it's 11 o'clock and I haven't even got to work yet. Bear in mind, on the last video, I was already finished the one side and tower was built around the other side by 11 o'clock. I haven't even scraped a single piece of moss off yet. Swings and roundabout. Folks, just sort of tune in there just to say like I don't even really need to move the scaffolding tower anymore on these jobs. I can just angle the flexi scraper a certain way, angle the gooseneck a certain way um, and this pole, this overweight is so light that I can literally scrape you know sideways you know and reach the entire roof. Um, let me try and put it into context. Now I'm level with that chimney there and I'm scraping all the way over there you know with uh, pretty much one hand. So uh yeah, pretty awesome. So I'll be able to get all of that all from this one, basically setting the tower up in the middle of the house and you can scrape the whole roof from it.
There's the first side all finished. That was, uh, the time is quarter past 12. Um, so I got up here at 11. So that's an hour and 20, well, an hour and 15 minutes um, to do one whole side, all from one single scaffolding position. I'm actually well sure for that. I've made up some uh, lost time there. Um, yeah, I wasn't even rushing really. So yeah, my uh, I must say my wrists are really hurting today. Um, if anyone's got any like links or suggestions or um, things with uh, for like joint pain things like that um, if there's anything you guys take that do this job because my joints do take a, a beat and even with a pole like this i mean at the end of the day it's still heavy when fully extended so um it's just a lot easier than the renegade but yeah if anyone has any sort of things they take for like joint pain and like it's my wrists mainly my wrists like really seize up and my elbow and stuff like that so yeah but um, nice difference from next door there. That's this roof is going to turn out really nice. So yeah, cheers. folks i have the red face mask marks again uh that's the roof all done now um all been soft washed all been scraped everything is completely done um i just need to do this conservatory roof here uh, i'm not going to video that um because it's already gone five o'clock now so i'm just going to get this done um and get home because it's a saturday so hope you enjoyed the video um if i take a picture afterwards i'll pop a picture in um yeah thanks for watching everyone i really appreciate it and i'll catch you very soon